Hello Joel, uh, welcome to the first part of uh, a series of videos that I will try to explain uh, some things about uh, the airbrushes for the beginners and hopefully help you uh, choose the airbrush setup that you need. First of all, uh, what is the airbrush? The basic concept of an airbrush involves moving air rapidly through a narrow tube which uh, creates a lower pressure in that tube. This establishes sanction on, the, on an attached paint uh, reservoir, drawing the paint up into the airstream where it is then automized and exit as a mist. The result from the automization creates uh, smoother finishes and gentle blends between colors. This is a very simple explanation, but uh, it's the only thing that you have to know uh, for the airbrush. Not the history, nothing. Only this. So, uh, there are three elements that uh, all brushes have. The trigger, here. The feed system, this one. And the mix point here. All airbrushes can be categorized based on these three items. So, for the first part, we'll see uh, those three categor categories. Uh, let's begin. So, our first category uh, it will be the trigger, this one. Uh, this is a tacti po tactical point for an artist, that, uh, as it is through manipulation of the trigger that the airbrush uh, puts paint on substrate. There are two types of uh, triggers found on airbrushes. They are referred to as a single action or a double action. The single action trigger, like this, is a one direction trigger where the user presses down to establish both airflow and paint flow. Given their simpler construction, single action airbrushes tend to be less expensive. Also, the simpler operation also makes them ideal for the beginner. This was my first airbrush ever. Uh, and Evado Revolution, single action, bottom feed. You'll see about the bottom feed later. So. The movement of the trigger is only this, only down, up, nothing else. Uh, the second uh, type is the double action airbrush. The double action airbrushes utilize a two-step trigger, which provide the artist with uh, considerably more control over the airbrush output. Like uh, single action airbrush, the downward trigger movement starts the air to flow, but uh, the paint flow starts with the movement of the trigger backwards, like this, with more backward movement resulting in an increase in paint flow. This uh, two-stage trigger action uh, results in a more complex airbrush assembly, with most using a separate needle. So, the second category that uh, we're gonna see is the feed system. Uh, the paint has to get into the airflow somehow, and there are two main uh, feed systems available right now. The first is the gravity feed system. This places the paint uh, reservoir on the top of the airbrush and uses gravity to help uh, pull the paint into the mixed chamber. With this gravity assist, the airbrush that no, does not need to have uh, as much suction and therefore lower pressure can be used. Because of this, uh, the airbrush manufacturers can design the airbrush to, for finer automization, which generally results in much finer detail work possible. The second feed system is a siphon feed system. This can be done uh, via bottom, like this one, or side like this one, which is having their own merits. Both of them have greater visibility over the top of the airbrush, 
uh, although that might not be much of a consideration for the modeler. The bottom feed system can generally take larger capacity paint uh, containers, allowing, allowing the artist to airbrush larger areas before refilling. Side feed systems place the paint container on either uh, right or left side, which can work well for those who do not like the balance of the bottom feed uh, brush. The other main advantage for, uh, to side and bottom feed airbrushes is that the paint container is generally removable, while that of the top feed brush is generally integral to the brush itself. This allows the artist to mix the paint separately from uh, the airbrush and in some cases even have uh, pre-mixed bottles of paint ready for attaching a spraying. A top feed brush requires paint to be transferred to the airbrush from one container to another which can be messy at times. Uh, the best choice for modelers is this one, the gravity feed system, because uh, uh, you don't need a lot of paint for the miniatures. If you want to do more artistic work like uh, paintings or walls, this is the kind that you have to use bottom feet. More uh, paint and uh, you can have the premixed uh, colors ready to use. The last category uh, will be the mix point. Uh, finally, we came up uh, to the mix point. This is where the air and paint meet up to create the automized mist of color. These are separated uh, into external mix and internal mix. And uh, these are pretty logical definition. An internal mix airbrush, like this one, will mix the paint and air together inside the airbrush, then allowing to exit as a mist. Most uh, double action airbrushes uh, utilize this method of mixing. External mix airbrushes that I don't have and I don't want to use ever uh, have the air exiting the airbrush before mixing them with the paint. This is a much simpler system and uh, it's the type that uh, used in most single action airbrushes in the past. Now most of the airbrushes have uh, the internal mix system, which is uh, what I totally prefer. Don't buy external mix. Uh, if you are a modeler, don't even think about it to use an external mix uh, airbrush. So uh, that was it. Uh, the end of the first part of the of, the, of this video series. Uh, I hope uh, it helped you in some ways. Uh, as I told you, you can choose any airbrush that you want, uh, up gravity feed, bottom feed, side feed, and uh, double action figure, single action trigger. The only thing that uh, I think that uh, you have to, to put out of your mind is that uh, you don't need uh, a external mix uh, airbrushes, uh, especially the modelers, don't use it for no reason. Uh, so this is the end of the first part, uh, the next time you will, will uh, disassemble the components and take a look uh, on the inside of the airbrushes. Thank you for, thank you everyone for seeing the video. If you like it, uh, please uh, make a like or subscribe to my channel. Uh, more videos like this to come. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Cheers.